Good morning guys. It is Thursday, August 13th. I just got up, just drank a glass of water. I keep one by my bed so I have so, so I drink water or else I just won't drink it. Um, I'm hitting a push day today with a friend of mine so I'm gonna take you guys along and film and since you've been you said you'd watch longer clips I'll show you guys. I'll try to show you everything I do the warm-up um, I won't show you every set of everything because it'll just be way too long and be like an hour video. But uh, I'll show you as much as I can since I'm obviously going to need spots and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to grab some breakfast. I'll show you guys what that looks like. And uh, maybe I'll even show you my uh, pre workout meal and maybe my post workout meal after I'm done. So um, do some posing today. Show you guys the physique update, how things are looking. Like I said, it's a lean bulk, so I don't really want to gain much weight at all. I just want to gain muscle, you know. Um, okay, I'll catch you. Uh, I'll check in with you guys uh, for breakfast. All right, so that is breakfast. It's three whole eggs, two egg whites, um, bowl of oatmeal, and then a glass of milk. And like I said, it's about um, 40 protein. Um, <laughs> this thing has to be held so far back. 40 protein, 40 carb, and about 17, 18 fat. So, um, you know, you don't have to. That's a couple things I want to say. Number one, yes, I eat very similar every day, and, and that way I don't, it's a lot easier to track what I eat and what my macros are and stuff. But uh, keep in mind, guys, you don't have to eat seven meals a day like everyone else does. I eat I eat breakfast, I'll eat a small lunch. That's just, I'm usually not that hungry and I don't have a lot of time because I'm at work. And then um, I'll eat a lot of calories at night once I get home, big dinner, you know, a snack after dinner or something before bed, you know. And that's just when I'm hungry, that's just how my body works, you know. If you go back in time to how, you know, humans evolved, a lot of the times we were fasting during the day. They might wake up in the morning and have something to eat and then they'd be out hunting all day fasting basically and so um, once they had they made their catch or something they may come home and grill that shit up and eat all night and that's when they got the majority of their calories so I mean it's not like you don't have to do the seven meals a day thing like you see all the top fitness guys doing and fitness girls too um, you know that's just because they have the time it works for them you know a lot of them have food sponsorships that send them their meals pre-packaged and everything ready for them so um, you know don't get caught up in in what everyone else is oh there we go <laughs> Don't get caught up in what everyone else is doing. Um, I've been only eating about, probably, it varies, sometimes maybe 2,300 calories, sometimes up to 2,700 calories, but I haven't been stuffing myself. Um, and there's no need, if my energy levels are fine and, I, and my workouts are good in the gym, then why do I need to stuff myself, you know? Just to gain fat, that's what's gonna happen. Um, so, that's the whole point of this series, guys. It's a lean muscle gain series. I want to show you guys that you can just eat the right foods as long as you're hitting certain macros like your protein, um, you got to have some fat obviously, um, and then carbs for your energy, then then you can build muscle and, and you don't have to look like a dumbass. So, um, yeah, I'll take you guys to the gym, push day, see you in a little. It's recording. You good? Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to do a push day today with my boy Ivan. And uh, since you guys requested you wanted to see more of like what I'm doing and everything, just got in here. Um, normally I hit the treadmill for about five minutes to warm up. And then on a push day I'm going to warm up my shoulders, so I'll show you what I do. Just grab five pounds. And I just do like three different, three different shoulders, so I start out with lateral raises. Shouldn't be anything heavy at all. All we're doing is trying to warm up the muscles. Got to do some fronts. And then I'll bend down, do some weird. And then the other thing I'll do a lot of is some shoulder rolls. Those don't look very cool. But if it keeps you from getting injured, I'll do it. So I do like little pulses and then slowly get bigger. And then obviously reverse and forward. 
And like I can feel the blood starting to get into my shoulders, which is good. That's what we want. Who are you? So from there, do some warm-up sets with the bar, and then building up to the weight that we're going to be using. We're going to be going heavy today, so uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like as we get going. All right, what up, guys? I'm actually doing a commentary on the day that I did the workout. I'm finally caught up with videos. So I'm pretty damn excited about that because it's a lot easier to remember what the hell I was doing instead of trying to figure out what it was like a week ago. Anyway, um, so here you go, guys. I'm showing you a little bit of a longer video, but I'll explain what I'm doing. And so as you saw in that opening clip, always warming up my shoulders. Um, I usually hit the treadmill for about five, five to ten minutes just to warm up, get the pre-workout coursing through my veins. <laughs> It's hot as shit in my room again, guys, and for some reason when I get hot, I get really loopy, so this is going to be an interesting commentary. But anyway, you saw um, 135, I think I just did, for some reason I always do 18, I don't know why, but that's the rep range I always warm up, and I hit 18. Um, 185, I think I did like 10 to 12, just warming up, making sure the muscles, uh, the chest and shoulders really are warm, and then I got to my first working set, so that was this 225, I wanted to hit. Uh, 10 to 12, um, but I didn't want to go to failure on this because I wanted to put on a little bit more weight. So I didn't realize it's funny when you record yourself. If you guys ever have a chance, you should record some of your sets because what you think is happening in your head is sometimes different than what is actually happening. So um, I thought this was going a lot slower, and then I watched the clips, and it's like, oh, that bar is moving pretty quickly, you know. So um, I probably could have got 12 on that, but um, just aiming for 10, so I just stopped at 10. Save a little bit in the tank since I want to be lifting heavier now, so um, that's what I want to do. So after that, I went up, I just, I think I just do on a 5, went up to 235. I was aiming for 8 on this, and um, we were taking a little bit longer rest, probably 2, two minutes, 2.5 two minutes, maybe even 3. Uh, just making sure we are ready to go because uh, when you're lifting for strength, you got to make sure your muscles are recovered um, before you go um, so you can push the weight that you're trying to push. I mean, if I took a minute rest, I could have done 225 probably for like six or seven, but instead I'm upping the weight and doing it for eight. So, um, you know, that's the goal during this bulk. I want to add strength. Um, honestly, and I do want to clarify. Um, Here's Ivan set. This is who I was working out with. He filmed a lot of this footage, so um, he's a great workout partner. This kid's only 19, dude, and he's almost as strong as I am. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. He's been fun. It's been fun working out with him. So, um, but anyway, what I was gonna say is, um, you know, I, I did. I had some people asking me, you know, isn't it impossible to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time? It's very hard. Yes, it is very hard. But I'm not trying to lose fat. Um, I'm just trying not to gain fat. So there is a difference, guys. So, you know, obviously I'm not going to get more shredded throughout this series, but if I can stay right about the same body fat percentage that I am and add muscle, then that's what I'm going to do. Like I said earlier in the clips, like, well, I don't know. When I was in college, I was running, I ran track and field at Penn State. Um, my diet was complete shit, guys. Like, I literally. If I got two meals in during the day, one of which was cereal in the morning and like some sort of like hamburger helper at night, like it was so, it was horrible. And I was running a shit ton um, and I weighed like 157, okay, when I was at college. So running three, four times a week, actually running pretty much every day. Um, and then we would be lifting on top of that, okay. I mean, there were, I was definitely in a deficit. I was losing weight during the season. But guess what? My squat, I'm not even joking. My senior year in college, I squatted 535 pounds for a set of seven. Um, I'll never forget it because I thought, I thought my back was going to break. Now, granted, I wasn't going completely ass to grass like I do now. But, um, you know, I was squatting some retarded weight. And I only weighed like 157 pounds, okay? And let me tell you guys... I, I was definitely in a deficit and building muscle. So if, if people tell you it can't be, it's not possible, it is possible. I know for a fact it's possible because I lived my entire college career doing it. So, I mean, building muscle, guys, is, in my opinion, more about how much testosterone you have in your body than it is about anything else. I mean, obviously, a good diet and getting enough protein and all that stuff, yes, that matters. 
But I mean, that's the reason guys can take steroids and be shredded out of their out of their minds and still be huge. Okay. I mean, I'm not telling you guys to take steroids. I'll never. I'm not going to take them. They're horrible for your body. Um, so don't do that. But you know, I'm just trying to make a point. Anyway, that's my tangent. So it is possible to build lean muscle, guys. So um, yeah, don't let anyone tell you that it's not. Anyway, and I'm going to show you in the series that it is. So um, yeah, that was my bench pressing. I think I went up to 245, hit that for a set of six, and then just did a drop set of 135 as many as I could. I think I got 18 or 20, something like that. From there, I went to Incline Smith Machine. Just started out with 135 and just did a bunch. I think I did 15 to 20 of these. Um, I was going close grip. For, I don't know. I, like I said, I always switch up my grips just for the hell of it. Whatever I feel like doing that day. I did a couple sets close grip on this and then I switched. You can actually see me adjusting my grip right there. I was just jumping out a little bit wider. Felt a little bit better. So um, I think I did 135. Then we did a set of two. Uh, 205 or maybe 195 whatever a, th a 45 and a 35 is I'm blanking right now I was 205 we just said a 205 for like 10 and then we went to 225 which was pretty much our working sets said so we did um, I think we did two of these plus a drop set so this is the drop set and I think I was aiming for six to eight on this and so I think I grinded out what that's seven or eight right there and then we stripped off the yeah 145 and guys on the smith machine the bar is i think it's a little bit lighter i think it's only like 15 pounds instead of 30 or whatever the hell the bar is i don't even know but um i still call it like 225 and you know 135 because i just don't care as long as the reference is there um then it doesn't really make a difference so if these Smith machine guys, oh my god, the Smith machine is so awesome. I feel like it's underused. I use it for, I use it for chest, like especially incline chest is really really good. Oh, the other thing we did, guys, is um, we we uh, we changed the incline on the bench. We started up with the incline higher, while we were fresher. Since higher, the higher you go, the harder it is. And then we drop, we just dropped it. We did two sets higher, and then we dropped it down and did two sets lower. It's really squeezing them out. I felt too the chest pump, which I'm about to show you right here. This is what I was talking about. I was like, oh my god, my chest is so pumped. Like normally I can bounce my my pecs and you can like see them bouncing. They were so pumped with blood that when I was flexing them and bouncing them, they didn't even move. It was insane. So um that was the the after those two exercises, we switched to shoulders, give our chest a little break. So we did seated shoulders today. Uh, we started out with just a set of 45 and did like, I don't know, 12 or 15 to warm up. Just make sure, make sure the shoulders are good. And then we switched to working sets. Uh, I think we did a set of 60 and then we felt pretty good. So we jumped up to 70s. And um, I think Ivan was doing sets of 8. I was doing sets of 10 maybe. And um, on this set here, I did a drop set. So uh, we were also taking pictures. Uh, I was taking some pictures for my boy Damien in his Total Alpha tank and um, I did a set of 60s while we were taking pictures and for pictures you don't really want to be moving so I was like doing a lot of isolation like holding at the bottom and at the top and stuff and oh my god guys you gotta have good workout doing shit like that so you know try different things you know try you know squeezing it at the bottom try you know shorter range of motions try different hand positionings like just try different stuff you know that I think that's half the fun in the gym um, so yeah on this one I just did a drop set on a lot of my last sets, I do drop sets just because I just want to burn the shit out of the muscles um, and hit different rep ranges. So um, I think I got 70 for 10, couldn't get that 11th rep out, and then went to the 40s and got like eight, 10, maybe 8 to 10 of these. Um, my, my body definitely does not like high reps. It's funny. It's just like I don't like distance running. Like I'm a sprinter. I want to run like short distances and just stop. Um, you know, that's just how my body is. Um, there are different types of muscle fibers within your body. There's fast twitch muscle and slow twitch muscle. Fast twitch muscle does, um, it's more explosive movements, pushes heavier weights. Um, it makes you run faster. It gives you more power, but it's also for shorter periods of time. Um, and as bodybuilders, we really want fast twitch muscle. You know, it's, if you look at the difference between like a marathon runner and a sprinter, sprinters are like way bigger and that's because they have more fast twitch muscle. So um, just a random tangent there. But well, as a bodybuilder, actually, we want to we exhaust all the, all the muscle fibers that we have. 
And so that's why I like to do different rep ranges because when you get into those higher 15 to 20 rep ranges, you're using different fibers. So um, it's good to do a little bit of everything. So um, we, yeah, we went to these uh, what, lateral raises. We did, I think we did four sets of those. We were just going, I go, you go. So very short rest with the 30s there and I felt really, really good. I've been really liking those lateral raises. Um, from there, we went to rear delts and I think I started off with like 70 pounds and did like a set of 15. You'll, you'll hear like, you'll see a pattern with my stuff. I always start off with one set and just get my mind into the muscle, like squeezing it perfectly slow, controlled, and then, you know, just get that muscle mind connection going. And then I, and then I up my weights. And so, um, you know, like I said, just hitting all the different fibers of the muscle. Arnold used to train that way as well. He'd do 20 warm-up sets of 20 on every exercise before he actually got into his uh, working sets. And so, um, you know, this shit works. It's not like I'm just making it up. From there, I went to a superset. We felt pretty good on our shoulders, so we were like, you know what, let's just finish off our chest and shoulders, shoulders do a little superset. So we hit the machine chest here, and we did, I think we did two sets of this, just back and forth. So we went from uh, machine bench press, we just picked a weight. I picked a weight that was too light. That was way too many, that's why I was laughing. Um, and then we went to a sh uh, machine shoulder press. I love using machines after my compound movements because it just isolates the muscle a little bit more, helps you get that shape, cut it up. And um, on this machine, you're actually supposed to sit the other way, but I find that when you face the machine, it, it hits my shoulders way better. So um, yeah, I just turned around and fuck it, use it this way. And so burned out on the shoulders. I actually, like, I don't know if you guys have the same issue. No matter how hard I hit my shoulders, they just never get sore. And they'll be burning like crazy during the workout. My shoulder pump, yeah. My shoulder pumps are insane. But then the next day, it's like I didn't do anything. It's like I never feel, my chest will be super sore for, for days. But my shoulders never feel shit. I mean, I know I worked them because if I tried to hit them again, my strength is gone the next day, you know, even two, three days. But they just never actually feel sore. It's the weirdest thing ever. Let me know if you guys have experienced that phenomenon or if that's just me. Anyway, then we moved on to a superset here. Um, it was just a tricep push down, finish off our push day. And, um, a, uh, and then we were supersetting it with dips. Um, I was racking the push downs. I probably should be hanging weights off of this because I got, what, 15, something stupid. Um, like when the weight's too light, I just try to control it more and squeeze more. Um, you can you can make any weight work for you, really. Um, so keep that in mind. And then I just did a set of dips. Um, I actually felt so good today that I, I went out for a run. I just got back an hour or two ago. So uh, I am including cardio um, along with my lean bulking program uh, just because I enjoy it. Um, nothing wrong with it. If you do uh, high intensity interval training, it'll actually help promote muscle growth. So there's nothing wrong with doing some cardio. All right, I'll take you guys out with some posing and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. It's recording. So push day with my boy Ivan. That was a sick, sick workout. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna take a look at the physique, see how, uh, how it's looking. So this is probably like my second or third week of uh, being in a surplus and I'm uh, feeling pretty good guys. The diet, getting solid carbs in me and uh, good, good protein sources, feeling good. I feel thick but healthy, still staying pretty lean and uh, I can tell my energy levels are coming up so <sighs> chest is filling in, just feel big guys. Feel strong and healthy. So that's what we're looking at right now. Fence physique pose. Looking pretty good. Striations coming in across the chest. The chest is getting, my upper chest is finally coming in. Look at that. Filling across there. Getting some separation from my shoulder and my chest. Triceps are looking beefy. Tomorrow we're going to hit uh, back and biceps, we'll record more for you, <laughs> heavy deadlifts, some all kinds of barbell rows, do some biceps, show you how the back's looking tomorrow, um, but that's going to do it for today, uh, maybe I'll show you guys my meal I had this evening, and uh, 
Thank you, Ivan, for uh, filming. No problem, man. Hit that like button if you guys like what we're doing. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. This crazy song.